Hey, what's up everybody? I hope you all having a wonderful, blessed, peaceful day today. Happy New Year's. Oh man, we at the beginning of the month of January of 2024. I hope you guys have y'all a new resolution of a new plan of new ideas of what you want to achieve in life, what you're willing to do. Don't be those people that be quick to change their lifestyle overnight just to impress and just prove yourself to other people who you don't have to prove yourself to is like, come on, be truthful to yourself. I am not changing my ways of my lifestyle for anyone at all. Me being me who I am makes me who I am because I love myself. I love the things that I do and I enjoy the things that I do. I'm not a bad guy. But to other people, I might seem like I'm a bad guy, but I really do not care what other people think. But everyone is entitled to their own opinion. But at the end of the day, I do not care. But with that being said, I would not have anybody in my circle with bad negative energy constantly saying negative things to put me down, make me feel like I'm not worthy for anything that I do in my life or anything that I put time towards to, like I am not good enough. I do not need those type of people or those kind of people around me in my life. I don't need it. Life is too short. I would like to enjoy every bit of it. So, with that being said, I would like to start my year off great, peaceful. My first thing that I'm planning on doing is like staying off social media more often. Spend time, spend quality time being away from those internet social media networks because I feel like that's taking a toll and a whole lot of time from my life. And it's a lot of things that I'm missing out. And those are a lot of things that I'm not paying attention to in my own personal spare time, in my own life being home. I'm missing out on a lot of things with family. I'm missing a lot of things, you know, a lot of fun time with friends. I really don't have much friends, but you know, those who consider themselves as my friends, you know, I'm grateful to have you in my life. Y'all know who y'all are. So it's no need for me to say the names, but you know, we locked in, we tight, we cool. You know, it's all love. But with that being said, if you don't have any good intentions of trying to help me become a better version of myself, I do not need you to be around me in my life because I'm not gaining anything from you. If you see yourself not doing anything, I do not want to be the type of person to see myself not doing anything. I'm a person that likes to stay active. I love to do things. I love to have fun. My action speaks for itself. I don't have to prove anything to anyone. Once I set my mind on to something, like if it's something that I see myself getting, I'm going to work hard towards it. It's going to take long because I do things the right way. I don't take no shortcuts. I don't do anything illegal to make fast money, quick money. I don't do anything like that. I work a nine to five job. I work hard every day. You know, it's just hard, man. It's just hard to try to survive out here when you're doing things the right way. It's like everything that you do right, it seems like it's not enough. It feels like you're not getting by. But soon as you do the things that's wrong in a negative way, it seems like you're getting by. You actually living, you doing everything right. Everything feels right when you do everything in a negative way. But soon as you do everything in a positive way, it seems like things falling apart. Feel like things is not working out for you. Things feel like it's not going to grow. You're not growing within yourself when you have a good heart, when you have a kind heart. But it's all good, because I know exactly what I'm going to do this year. Setting my mind on things that I have to get done, like getting my production copyrighted, my film production copyrighted with the name. That's one of them. Planning on, you know, making a new film. I'm making, 
you know, ideas, coming up with a new script for my short film for YouTube that I could drop, you know, making more podcasts to get better with it, to communicate with you guys. I hope you guys out there having y'all a wonderful, blessed day. Sorry for if I didn't ask, but I hope you all having y'all a new revolution plan, idea, a general outline to just, uh, you know, go forward or push forward to do better for those who feel like they not getting nowhere in life. You getting somewhere in life. It seems like you're not getting nowhere because you're doing everything right. You're taking the long route. It's going to take longer. If you do everything the wrong way, of course you're going to get it quickly, but will it last long? It's not going to last long if you get it the wrong way. If you get it the right way, it's going to last long because you're going to know the blueprint. You're going to know everything about it. You're getting it the right way, but you got to have faith in God. You got to trust yourself. You got to trust the process. If you don't trust the process, things is not going to work out right for you. Patience is key. Without patience, anything is not going to last long in your favor because you're going to want it right there then. Good things come to those that wait. If you never heard of that saying, it's okay. I hope you, you know, accept this saying, what I'm saying right now, so I can plant the seed in you. But like I was saying, I'm making plans to make a a new short film, whether it could be action or horror, whatever the case may be. Make it a continuance from my film, Curse or The Chase. Or something, you know, like a be a continuance from my late night text. Late night text, you know, that was based on like a relationship of, you know, having an affair, you know, being with someone. But I don't want to go down that route. I want to do something different. This was a little quick upload that I wanted to say, like, I'm grateful for everything that I have in my life because I came so far. For those who feel like... They not doing much in life. You doing a lot, you know. It may seem like it's not enough. It's it's enough. You're doing enough. Just don't get greedy. Just don't lose sight. Just don't lose sight of who you are as a person. Everybody expect to know their purpose in life, but they really don't know their purpose because everybody's life perspective change as years go by. Because we face new challenges each and every day. Everything is going to work out perfectly fine. But you have to know what you really want with yourself. Take your time. There's no need to rush. See, I'm in my my 20s, in my late 20s. I'm turning 30 this year. That's a blessing. I never thought I'd end up to make it to see that age 29 turning 30 that's a blessing I'm blessed I'm staying out the way keeping my head low moving the right way you know I have a small circle you know you know I have a thing that I don't trust people or very few people I just don't trust but my circle is super small my circle is so tight I barely can't even fit in my own goddamn circle. That's how bad it is for me to not trust people. Sometimes, you know, I get to the point I can't trust myself. But you know, that thought comes and goes. Especially when you're dealing with anxiety. You know. But I'm not going to be talking about my mental health. We can save that for another time. But this year, I'm willing to do a lot of things differently. Especially like managing money. Not gonna be blowing, splurging money on stupid things that I can't benefit off of. You know, I had my fun moments just to get a little taste of, you know, enjoying life. But things is gonna be very different now at this point. Why? Because I'm learning. I have to prepare myself to face new challenges that's gonna hit me this year. 2024, it's gonna be some big challenges that's going to hit me and I got to be prepared for that there's nothing wrong with to always be self prepared for what's to come it's important to keep God first if you don't have faith in God 
all hope is lost. That's when you open up doors for the devil to come in to bother you. You know, surround yourself around people who have faith as strong as you. Why? Because once you end up losing your faith, that person can help you regain your faith. You need people in different aspects of your life to remind you. Remind you of who you are. Remind you of your strength. Remind you of your character that you, you've you been building your way throughout life, going through different life lessons. It's a reason why we have those people in our lives, but we have to pay attention who we welcome in our life. You don't want to welcome anyone in your life if you can't benefit off them. But what is there you want to benefit from different people's lives? What is there that you're looking for? What is it? Like financially growth? You know, someone spiritually to help you grow? Someone who could help you mentally? Someone to help you physically? You know, different aspects in life, you have to know what you want when you come across a person that's in your life. Like, what is there that you need from a person to be in that position in your circle? It's like a job. You're not going to be nowhere in my life if you're not going to do anything to help me to get to the next step. What's your reason to be in my life if you're not going to help me? I'm at that point in my life like, if you're a friend, you got to have a reason why you're my friend. Yes, we can have fun, but what is there for you to be in that position that you're doing to earn that position to be my friend? What is it for me to just to have you as my friend that I could gain the benefit off of? What are you going to help me with? Are you going to help me personally with my anger issues? You know, I can have problems that I'm going through, like spending money so much. Are you going to be that friend that help me like, hey, Isaac? You're doing too much, man. You're spending your money on crazy things that you really don't need. It's okay that you can spend it to buy things that you want, but, you know, just try to be smarter with your money. If you're not that kind of friend, I don't need you. I don't need nobody to be in my circle to be yes man. You see me going out here looking this kind of way, dressed up, looking kind of crazy. If you can't be that type of friend, be like, hey, I love your style, but... You know, I don't think you should be wearing that. You know, you you my boy. You you my guy. Like, I gotta make sure you you on point. I gotta make sure. Hey, I see I, I got my cologne on and shit. You ain't got no cologne on and stuff, man. I'ma look out for you. I want you to smell good too, just like me. We both smell good. That's the kind of friendship that I want. If I end up slacking, I want you to help me up. Help me in places that I'm missing. Help me in places that that I, I can't, you know, achieve to accomplish to get to to fill that empty space up. Help me fill that in. Help me see what you see that I can't see. Help me. That's the type of friendship that I've been looking for, but it's hard for me to find that because I have friends that just, you know, to be honest, I can't consider them as friends because they can see me doing things that's wrong, but they keep their mouth shut and they constantly praise me. I don't need people that be around me praising my wrongs. I need people to just to correct me on my wrongs. Those are the type of friends that I need. That's something that I'm willing to work on this year. This year I'm not playing. If you don't see me communicating with you on my phone as much like I used to last year, just know things is changing. I'm known for, you know, texting right back right away. But if you don't see me text you right back right away, you know, I'm going through a little different changes. I'm making time for myself. I'm putting myself first. Not trying to say you're not important, but my life comes first before anybody else. I don't want to waste it on stupid decisions and making myself looking like a fool. While other people out there enjoying their life, while I'm breaking my neck to be quick to jump off the boat and try to save the next person but once I drown nobody is nowhere around to save me 
Everybody always had their hands out once they see me doing good. But as soon as I end up, you know, losing this and losing that or being a delay with, with my payments and my bills, ain't nobody willing to be found. I don't hear from nobody. But as soon as you're making that money, you start to hear from everybody. But as soon as you're not making no money, you really don't hear from nobody. You got to pay attention to those that you call your friends. Not every friend is your friend. I'm guaranteeing you that. When they say you got to keep your enemies close, that's a true saying. Because a friend who you call your friend could be your enemy, but you're keeping him close. But you would know his whereabouts and everything. You would be on point. Because you right there close by this enemy, but you may let that person know. You may not let that person know that, you know, you were aware of them. You two steps or three steps ahead of them. You just keeping them close because you just getting information from them. You're not finna play me as a fool. I'm just keeping you around so I know what's going on. So I'm just learning. I'm just learning things from you. But sooner or later, you will get cut off. I won't let you know my next move. You might think you know my next move, but you mean you, you, you just getting led in a different direction. You might think I'm going in this direction. I'm actually not. I'm in a whole different lane, stirring you in a different way. You might feel like you're on the same page as me. You're really not. I'm on a whole different chapter. I'm in a whole different chapter in my life that I'm really trying to figure out what do I want for me in my life. I'm setting goals for myself. I'm trying to stay focused. I'm trying to stay tunnel vision. This year, I'm not playing around with anybody. This year, I'm not wasting my time with anybody. This year, I am not wasting my money and time on anybody. Things is going to be different. Nobody wasn't around when I ain't had no place to lay my head. Nobody wasn't around when I ain't had no transportation. I had to figure out all this on my own. Yes, I had help here and there too, you know. But at, in, at the end of the day, my name, my credit is the reason why I'm able to get the things that I have to this day. Because of me. Believing in myself, having faith in God, knowing what I can do. Last year, I lost my faith. But at the end of that year, I regained my faith. I had to fight my way through. I had to see that light. Yes, I was trapped in darkness. But when you be trapped in that dark place, you go see the light. Sometimes it's good to be in the dark place. Because if you're not in the dark place, how you will see the light? Because if you're already in the light, how you going to see the light? You can still be blind, not knowing where to go. But once you be in that dark place, that's the place that you start to take time and start to try to see, to find your way to that light that will lead you the right way. I hope y'all getting this. It's a subliminal message that I'm trying to let you guys see. Some people say they never been in a dark place. It's bad to be in a dark place, but it's also good to be in the dark place because that dark place it could be that one person to be that light and they step in your life when you in the dark place you start to see you will see the goodness in that person who who came and reached their arms out try to help you and pull you back out of that dark place so you won't be lost and confused everybody may feel like they getting away with it Doing things wrong, no. The light gonna shine on it. That light will shine on them people who hide in them dark secrets in their lives. It's only a, a matter of time how long you can hide secrets. You can't hide secrets forever. You can't. It will come to the light. But what is there that you willing to do differently this year? What is it that you willing to change? What you willing to work on differently? this year it's good to have goals but don't overdo it with your goals because you you you're not going to know what to work on you're going to be overwhelmed 
this is real life. This is not no cartoon. This is not no no joke. Like this is real life. Cause you you overwhelm yourself with things, you go end up giving up. You go find yourself not achieving this. You're not achieving this goal. You're not achieving that goal because you you jumping. You jumping over here, you jumping over there. Oh, I wanna do this. Oh, I wanna work on this. Oh, I think I could do this and all that. You doing too much. You gonna find yourself not achieving anything and you gonna find yourself in that same spot. Fall back on what I was telling you, patience. Without patience, you won't get anything done. You have to take your time. Move on your spare time. Don't move on other people's time. You Make the time that works for you. You take your time, you learn it, you work through it, you follow through with it, learn the blueprint, and follow through. Take your time. There's no need to rush. What's the point of rushing? Once you learn the script in life, you're going to start to get the understanding of how life works. Especially in different situations of lessons in life. Different lessons in life comes in many different ways. What I'm trying to say, life in different lessons comes in different shapes or forms. Lessons in life comes in different shapes and forms. It's different levels of this. But I hope you guys having y'all a wonderful, blessed new year of this month in January. I hope you all figure out what y'all willing to do this year. Don't let nobody kill your energy. Don't let nobody, you know, stir you backwards. Don't let nobody tell you what you can't do because you will do better. You have to know what you want for yourself. Because if you don't, you have a different day to start over. You have another week to start over. You have another month to start over. You have another year to start over. Be on top of it. But with that being said, thank you all listening. I can't wait to come back another day with another podcast to talk to you guys about something else to get off my chest. But I'm glad that I happen to make it to see a whole new year. And I'm glad that you all out there that's listening. And I'm glad that y'all made it to see a whole new year as well. You are blessed. I'm blessed. We are blessed. You may feel like you losing. You're not losing at all. You winning. You want to know why you winning? You winning because you living to see another day. You winning, you living to see another week. You winning because you living to see another month. You winning because you living to see another year. You got to see it in a way that other people may not see it because if you open up your eyes, you grateful. You woke. You humble. You have to ground yourself to understand I'm here for a reason. And I appreciate every bit of every moment in my life that God blessed me to have breath of my body to breathe y'all make sure y'all have y'all wonderful blessed day I'm out y'all make sure y'all like share and subscribe thank y'all for listening catch y'all later deuces